Hello, how are you doing? Do you like doing puzzles, like word searches, or spot the differences, or dot to dots? Well, Crow's got a puzzle for you to do, do today, haven't you, Crow? <laughs> and so he's going to challenge you, and we're going to see whether you can do that puzzle. So, Crow, I think you'd better explain what it is. <laughs> okay, it's an anagram. Ooh, not sure whether everybody knows what an anagram is, Crow. So, I think you'd better tell them. Okay, you start with a word, and then you change the letters in it, but you just change the order of the letters. Ah, so you don't make different letters there, you just have the same letters, but in a different order. And then you've got to try and work out what that first word was. Oh, that sounds tricky, but mind you, having a look at those children, they look pretty clever. I'm sure they'll be able to do it. Okay, so let's see. So you're going to show us one word and see if we can work out what it started off as. Okay, let's look. Okay, have you got it? Let's try it with another change. And again. And I think this might be it. That's it, Crow. So that's the word. What was the word? That's right, change. So we're thinking about change. And we're going to tell a story about change. But I think I need to get changed as well. So I'll see you in a minute. So during our story today, we're going to think about a man called Peter. And he had lots of different feelings. I wonder if you can pull faces to go with the feelings as we go through the story. He might be happy with a big smile. Or he might be sad with a downturned face. Or he might be a bit worried or a bit grumpy. So as I do the story, come up with the different faces at the right times. So are you ready? Let's hear the story. Peter was a fisherman. He used to work with his brother Andrew and their friends. They would go out on the Sea of Galilee in their boat and they'd throw their nets over the side. Sometimes they'd catch a lot of fish and that made Peter happy. But other times they hardly caught a thing and that made him sad. Once Peter and the others had set out in a happy mood to go fishing. They set off late one afternoon and stayed out all night. They'd throw their nets over the side of the boat, drag them along and pull them in again. However, this night, every time they pulled in the nets, they were empty. Peter got more and more fed up and sadder and sadder. And when they went back to the land in the morning, they hadn't got anything and they were really tired and fed up. And then Peter spotted someone on the shore. It was Jesus. Peter had heard all about Jesus and knew that he told brilliant stories. He thought Jesus might be going to tell him one of those, so he met, that made him a bit happy. But Jesus just asked them if they'd caught much, and that made Peter feel even more grumpy. Jesus told them to go out to the sea again and throw the net on the other side of the boat. Peter wasn't very pleased by the idea, but he did what Jesus told him to do. They set out to the sea in a really sad mood. They threw their nets over the side of the boat and they waited. They were just about to give up again when Peter saw lots of silvery shapes moving under the waves. The sea was suddenly full of fish, dozens and dozens of them. And soon Peter's sad face broke into a massive happy smile as they hauled their nets in. There were more fish there than they'd ever caught before in one night. When they got to the land, Peter started to talk to Jesus. Jesus told Peter that he wanted to be his friend and that he wanted Peter to change and to travel around with him. Peter was a bit worried about what this would mean at first. But as he started to listen to Jesus more, he decided he wanted to do what Jesus asked him. He realised that that would be the best choice possible. His life had changed for the better. If you saw him now, you'd see a big, happy smile on his face. And as he travelled around with Jesus, Peter saw people with sad faces because they weren't very well. 
And lots of times Jesus did something amazing that made them better and that they went away with big, happy smiles on their faces. But nobody had a bigger smile than Peter. During that story, there were lots of changes that took place. Peter started out as a fisherman and changed into someone who spent his time following Jesus. He was sad, but when he met Jesus, he became happy. Jesus helped him to change. Peter wasn't always happy after he met Jesus. Sad things still happened to him, but he knew that Jesus would help him when he was sad. Jesus helps us to change, to become the best people that we can. He'll help us to change the things that are in our lives that make us a bit sad, that we don't like about ourselves. And he'll help us to make the good things even better. He helps us when we're happy and he helps us when we're sad. So he helps us all the time. So let's remember how Jesus helped Peter to change. And let's remember all those things that happened to Peter. Hope you've enjoyed that story. I'll see you again soon.